Good morning everyone. Welcome again to our backyard. I've had a couple of videos on this annual vine called a cardinal climber, which is a hybrid between um, two pretty popular vines. And it is a real hummingbird magnet, as I have talked about in um, my other couple of videos. And today I want to talk to you about harvesting the seeds. This is a real huge hit with hummingbirds because as you can see it has a trumpet shaped flower full of nectar and the birds absolutely love it. So I've mentioned that it's an annual and I seed it, we seed it every spring. Um, here in zone 9A we typically plant it in the beginning of April. Um, our last frost is usually in March, and so we let the ground warm up a little bit. We soak the seeds um, overnight in warm water, and they sprout so nicely. But I wanted to show you an example of what you harvest on the seeds. So if you will notice, this seed, these seeds are not ready. Um, they still have a green stem up to them, and if you picked them now, it would be way too early. But um, let me pull a seed here, seed pod here. This one is ready to go. You will notice that it is all um, dried. And what I do is I just pinch it. And then it will, oops, release the seeds. I usually just then blow the seed coating or the chaff away and um, go on for the next seeds. So I notice that there's a couple more here. Let me pull them. Actually, I have a lot of <laughs> a lot of seeds that are ready to be to be picked, but I only have one hand, and so I'm going to pick a couple here. And I usually have two hands to do this. But you will notice these nice little black seed pods. Or I should call them, they're the actual seed. They're dry, they're compact, and I just blow the chaff away. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take these inside and I'm gonna show you what I do with them. Usually I collect between, oh, it's typically real easy to collect about 100 to two to 300 seeds a day. Um, but for the purpose of me showing you what I typically do is I'm just gonna go in and take them inside and show you how I prep them. It's pretty easy. Okay, as you can see on the left here, I have some seeds that I collected the other day and I have them on a paper towel. So I typically just bring in the seeds and um, just scatter them out so they're not touching each other and just put them on the paper towel and they will, typically I do this so they continue to dry um, because I do store my seeds in um, a plastic bag once they are totally dry. So I bring the seeds in, play, place, place them on a paper towel. I typically only, mm, <laughs> depends on how convenient it is. I definitely want them to continue to dry um, over 24 hours, but a lot of times I'll leave them um, for a, a good 48 hours. But as you can see, they really are um, let me come down here. They really are dried and hard little seeds at this point. So I just continue to make sure that they are completely dry. Ha! And this is last year's seeds. So I had, golly, <laughs> the fall of 2021, I collected. It was just kind of therapeutic to go out every morning and I'd, I'd collect seeds and I ended up collecting this bag and um, a little bit of another bag. I had 
golly, about over 8,000 seeds that I had collected of, of my cardinal climber. <laughs> and I know it's way too much, but we share with our, our neighbors and coworkers and friends. And so it's just nice to have some on hand um, if needed. So again, this is what I do to collect those seeds. And um, once they're dried completely, then I just go ahead and put them in a plastic bag um, for storage. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. And thanks for joining me.